Ashley. Today we're going to read a story called Ice Cream and Frills by Anne Hart. But mom, I can't wear this to school. Justine looked down at her new shirt. It's horrible, but Grant thought you'd love it, mom said. Have you ever had somebody buy you a shirt that you hated? You thought just did not look good? What did you do about it? Justine picked at the fluffy frills around her neck. I look like a clown. Mom fluffed the frills. It's cute, she said. Justine ran to her room. She stood in front of her mirror. She did look like a clown. The yellow t-shirt was as bright as the sun. The frills were lime green. She would never wear it. What was Gran thinking? The phone rang. I'll get it. Justine raced into the hall. She picked up the phone. Hi, Gran. I knew it was you. Hi, Jessie. Do you think you can help me with something? I'll try. I have a big tub of blueberry marshmallow ice cream. That's my favorite. It is, Gran sounded surprised. What's your favorite kind of ice cream? Mine is chocolate chip cookie dough. Well, I can't eat all of it myself. Could you help me with it after school today? You can bring a friend if you'd like. You know what, Cran? Justine laughed. I think I can help. She hung up the phone. It was all set. Cran would pick her up after school. Justine stood in front of her mirror again. She grinned. The afternoon at Grand's would be fun. She touched the lime green frills. Maybe the shirt isn't too bad, she whispered. She took a deep breath and ran downstairs. I'm ready for school, Mom. Mom looked at Justine's shirt. She raised her eyebrows and smiled. Let's go, she said. They climbed into the car. Justine's feet tapped the floor. Her fingers tapped her knees. She touched her green frill again and again. Would the kids laugh at her? They arrived at school. Bye, Mom. Justine kissed her mom and walked to the classroom. She took a deep breath and opened the door. She watched her feet as she walked into the room. Who would be the first to laugh? Justine, a voice called. I love your shirt. Justine looked up. Her mouth dropped open and her eyes grew wide. She laughed. Her friend Tanya stood in front of her. She was wearing a bright orange t-shirt. The fluffy frill around her neck was blue. I like yours too. Justine touched her own frill. Do you like blueberry marshmallow ice cream? That was a fun story. So why doesn't Justine want to wear her new t-shirt from her grandma? In Justine's case, she didn't like how the shirt looked. She thought it made her look like a clown. Why does Justine decide to wear the shirt after all? Justine decided to wear the shirt because her grandma gave it to her and she wanted to make her grandma happy as they were going to eat ice cream together. 
Why is the end of the story funny? Justine's friend Tanya was wearing a similar colored shirt, a similar style. So Justine was so scared about what her shirt looked like, but it turns out it was in style. I hope you enjoyed the story today.